In this numerical, we need to find the center of gravity of an I section with the given dimensions. As you can clearly see in the picture, the dimensions of both its flanges are same as 20 cm and 10 cm respectively and the dimensions of its web as shown in the figure. Whenever we need to find the center of gravity of any composite section, we divide the section into a number of areas. Similarly, we will divide the I section into three areas. Area 1, which is ABCD, Area 2, EFGH, and Area 3, IJKL. Since the I section is symmetrical about Y axis, so the center of gravity will lie somewhere on Y axis. Now let's take the bottom line KJ as reference axis for calculation of Y bar. Y bar is the distance of CG of I section from the bottom line KJ which is reference axis. Let A1 be the area of the rectangle ABCD which is 20 into 10 cm equal to 200 cm square. Y1 is the distance of center of gravity of area 1 from reference line KJ which will be equal to this 10 cm plus 20 cm plus centroid of this rectangle which will be 10 divided by 2 and we will get 35 cm in total. Let A2 be the area of the rectangle EFGH which is 20 cm into 10 cm so A2 will be equal to 200 cm square and let Y2 be the distance of CG of area 2 from the reference line KJ so Y2 will be equal to this 10 cm plus centroid of this rectangle EFGH which is 20 divided by 2 finally we will get Y2 equal to 20 cm we already know area 3 is equal to area 1 equal to 200 cm square and Y3 will be equal to 10 cm divided by 2 equal to 5 cm now using the equation of Y bar which is Y bar equal to A1 Y1 plus A2 Y2 plus A3 Y3 divided by A1 plus A2 plus A3 and substituting all the calculated values in this equation we will get the value of Y bar equal to 20 cm. Hence CG of the given I section lies at a distance of 20 cm from the reference line KJ. So this was all for today. We'll catch you up soon. Thank you.